last lecture in a three phase transformer we have seen the three phase system in ac quantities the concept of line and phase voltage and we have seen that what are the different type of connections available uh, in three phase transformer so here we are going to see in more detail how do you select the which type of connections are huge used for which type of applications so the first connection that we are going to take is the star star connection so star star connection means that the primary voltage will be connected in star and the secondary voltage will be connected in star so if we uh, see the supply which is a balanced three phase supply it is connected in the form of a star the secondary is also connected in the form of a star and a load is connected on the secondary of the transformer which is a balanced three phase load so the connection is known as star star connected network so consider three single phase identical transformer each rating of 10 kva of 200 volt by 100 volt 50 hertz transformer so we consider a bank of a three single phase transformer where the rating of the transformer is of 10 kva and the voltage is 200 volt by 100 volt and 50 hertz transformer so once it is connected in the form of uh, star star connected network so what we can see that the um, voltage in uh, the two lines is 200 by root 3 and the high voltage which is drawing a current of because you have been given a 10 kva rating of the transformer so 10,000 divided by 200 volt so 200 volt is given so the current in the high voltage side is 50 ampere so high voltage current drawn is 50 ampere which is the primary winding of the transformer the low voltage winding uh, if we try to find the current rating so it is 10 kva divided by the voltage on the low voltage side that is 100 volt so we get a 100 ampere current on the low voltage side so 100 ampere current is delivered to the load and 50 ampere current is being taken from the supply now uh, we know that since it is a three single phase transformer bank obviously you will be having 200 volt as the phase voltage on the primary side of the transformer and 100 volt you will be having on the secondary side of the transformer per phase so line voltage uh, we know that line voltage is root 3 times the phase voltage and phase voltage given is 200 volt so obviously the line voltage will be 200 root 3 volt on the primary side of the transformer similarly on the secondary side of the transformer we will be having 100 root 3 volt on the secondary side of the transformer now uh, we have uh, already defined it that whenever you have a three phase balance system it is uh, very useful to solve the problem in single phase system and then back transform all the available quantities in the three phase network so here uh, we had first obtain what is the current flowing in the high voltage side and the low voltage side and then we convert the phase uh, line voltage into the phase voltage so you have a 200 volt 100 volt that is on the primary side of the network and the secondary side and correspondingly you will be obtaining the line quantities so the total kva that can be supplied to the load so this is your load so what is the kva that we can supply to the load is basically root 3 vlin so we know that the power formula uh, of the three phase system is root 3 line voltage into line current so we have seen that the line voltage here is 100 root 3 and the line current is 100 ampere so if you multiply that with root 3 then we get 30 kva as the output so we see that since the system was 10 kva and three single phase unit were there so 10 into 3 unit will be getting 30 kva on the load side so this network star star connected network is used for small high voltage transformer so wherever uh, you see the load uh, power uh, is obviously three times the 
single phase power so and uh, also the voltage is increasing on the secondary side so generate is used for small transformer which is of high voltage in nature because of star connection the number of required turns per phase is reduced so you have a star connected network on the uh, secondary as well as the primary the required turns per phase is reduced because the phase voltage is 1 by root 3 times the line voltage so phase voltage is 1 by root 3 it is decreasing so the number of turns per phase is reducing so amount of insulation requirement is also reduced in this type of network or connections insulation requirement is less because the turns are less so connection can be used if the connected load is balanced so one uh, small assumptions is there or requirement is there that the load has to be balanced then only we can use this type of connection there are some problems which are associated with star star connected network and that we are going to see so basically two very serious problems are there in star star connected network so the first problem let us describe so it is not satisfactory for the unbalanced load so the previous uh, slide only i have told you that uh, the star star connected network will be used only when the load is balanced otherwise for the unbalanced network we can't use the star star connected network in the absence of the neutral connection so if the neutral is not provided then the phase voltage becomes severely unbalanced when the load is unbalanced so one uh, very uh, important limitation is that that unbalanced load we can't use the star star connected network second the star star connection contains a third harmonics and in balanced condition these harmonics are equal in magnitude and phase with the magnetizing current so star star connected network will have third harmonics which are of equal in magnitude and phase with respect to the magnetizing current their sum at the neutral of the star connection is not zero so obviously these harmonics the sum of the harmonics is not zero at the neutral point and hence it will distort the flux wave which will produce a voltage having a harmonics in each of the transformer so three phase transformer will have the third harmonics present in the star star connected network however the problem of the harmonics third harmonics or the unbalancing can be solved by using a solid grounded system of the neutral or by providing a tertiary winding on the transformer so whenever you will be having a neutral point so this is your neutral point you keep a solid grounded system and ground it so in that case what will have whatever the unbalancing has occurred it will slowly uh, flow to the ground all the current of the third harmonics will flow to the ground next uh, connection that we have is star delta connected network so the primary is connected in the form of a star and the secondary is connected in the form of a delta so let us take the same example where the secondary now we are connecting in the form of a delta keeping the primary same as a star so in uh, primary there will not not be any changes because 200 volt was there on the primary per phase voltage so 200 uh, root 3 will be there in the line voltage and we have seen that 50 ampere current was flowing uh, in the primary network or the high voltage side in the low voltage side you have 100 uh, volt uh, which is there as the phase voltage and we know that in a delta connected network our line voltage is equal to phase voltage so delta connected network line voltage is equal to phase voltage and hence 100 volt will be there whether it is a line voltage or a phase voltage however the line current is equal to root 3 times the phase current in delta connected network so line current will become 100 root 3 then the kva rating of the transformer if we try to find then it is the root 3 vl il so putting the value of the voltage and the current that we have got it will get 30 kva which is again the same uh, in for the three phase system because for a single phase system we have 10 kva multiplied with 3 we should get 30 kva on the load side so this connection is mainly used for step down transformer so when we require the secondary voltage to be less than the primary voltage in such type of connection we use star delta connection and that is at the substation end of the transmission line so we know that power is being transmitted at a very high voltage and at the substation end the voltage has to step down so in the substation end we prefer to use star delta connected network the main use of this connection is at the substation end of the transmission line where voltage has to be stepped down so generally star delta connected network 
of the transformer is used uh, when we require to step down and it is at the substation. This can be used to provide three phase four wire service. So uh, star with neutral grounded. So whenever we require to pro provide a three phase four wire service, then it is used to provide the fourth wire. It is a neutral wire. The ratio between the secondary to primary line voltage is one by root three. So if we take a ratio of the secondary to primary, the line quantity or the voltage, then we'll get one by root three times the transformation ratio of each transformer. So there is a 30 degree phase shifting between the primary and secondary line voltage, which means that the star delta transformer bank cannot be parallel with the star star or delta delta connected bank. So whenever uh, we are trying to obtain the um, paralleling of the transformer in order to in, uh, maintain the power requirement of the load, then we have to properly check the polarity and the phase shifting or the phase sequence. So star star or delta delta connected transformer cannot be parallel with star delta transformer because of 30 degree phase shifting which is provided in the line voltage from the primary to secondary. Also the third harmonic current flows in the delta to provide a sinusoidal flux. So whenever uh, you will be having some unbalancing, obviously the harmonic current will flow and it will flow inside the delta connected network. So wherever it is a delta connected network, it will fall flow inside the delta connected network. So third connection that we are going to use is the delta star connected network. So the high voltage side is delta connected and the low voltage side is star connected or the primary side is delta connected and the secondary side is star connected network. So it is opposite to whatever we have discussed in the previous connection. So it will be used for stepping up the voltage as for example at the beginning of the high tension transmission line. So we have seen in the previous uh, discussion that when you have a star delta connected network, it is basically used to stepping down the voltage used in the trans, uh, substation end. Here it is opposite, you will be using for stepping up the voltage in the high tension transmission system. So it is basically used for a three phase four wire service where the star there is a neutral grounded system and the connection has gained popularity because it can serve both the three phase power equipment as well as single phase lightning system. So because of three phase four wire system you can use as three phase power equipment or single phase lightning circuit hence the connection has gained popularity. And here also you have a 30 degree phase shifting so you can't do paralleling operation with delta delta or star star connected transformer. The ratio of the primary voltage is root 3 times the transformation ratio of the transformer. So primary voltage is also the root 3 times the transformation ratio. The fourth connection that we are going to discuss is delta delta connected network where the primary is connected in the delta and secondary is connected in the form of a delta. This connection is generally used for large low voltage transformer. So if you remember, we have discussed the star star connected network where high voltage transformer, small transformer we were using. Here we will be using the opposite that is the large low voltage transformer. So number of required phase per turns is relatively greater than that of star star connection. So if we uh, talk in terms of phase per turn, it is relatively greater compared to star star connection. This connection can be used even with unbalanced loading. So there was a limitation of star connected network that uh, it can be used only with the balanced network and unbalanced network it can't be used where uh, this type of limitation is not there in case of delta delta connected network. Another advantage of this type of connection is that even if one transformer is disabled system can continue to operate in open delta connection which is very important but with reduced available capacity. So when uh, both the primary and secondary end are connected in delta delta fashion, then if there is any fault in one of the phases of a transformer, then also the system will operate with a reduced capacity in the open delta connected network form. So next topic that we are going to discuss is basically open delta, which is known as VV connection network. So basically we have discussed four types of connection that is star star, second we have discussed star delta, third we have discussed delta star network and fourth we have discussed delta delta connected network. So in delta delta connected network if one of the phases goes 
then it will become VV connection because one phase has been out of service. So basically these are the four different type of connections and one important and advantage of Delta Delta connection network is it can operate in open delta fashion. So let us see that now you have three phases A, B and C where the third phase C has there is a fault and uh, it will not operate uh, in the system. Then what will happen if the third phase is not there then you will be left with only two phases A and B. So in that case what will happen there will be continuous flowing of the power but with a reduced capacity in the network. So it is used when one of the transformer in the delta delta bank is disabled and the service is to be continued until the faulty transformer is repaired or replaced. So here this uh, transformer which is the fault or there is a replacement of the transformer then uh, if we want to take this transformer out then we can still operate the transformer in the form of open delta with a reduced capacity and then this transformer will back uh, come to the system after its fault is repaired. So it can also be used for small three phase load where installation of full three transformer bank is unnecessary. So it can operate as a three phase load in the network. The total load carrying capacity of an open delta connection is 57.7% than would be in delta delta connected network. So compared to delta delta connected network, the star star connected network will operate with 57.7% of the power rating. So that we are going to see how it is. So we know that the power rating of the uh, any a three phase system can be given as three V phase I phase. So we have not taken the load into account here because we are basically dealing with the KV rating of the machine. So the complex power when the system is delta delta connected then it is three uh, V phase into current phase. However, when one of the phases will go then for a VV connection network the there will be no power uh, flowing from transformer T3 is zero and only the power will flow from transformer T1 to trans and transformer T2. So on or adding that and equating with root 3 uh, VL IL. So here when transformer T3 has been taken out the line voltage will become the phase voltage of the network because the transformer T3 has not there. So line voltage will become the phase voltage and line current has also become the phase current. So then if we divide the VV connection with respect to the delta delta connected network, we will get 1 by root 3 which is equal to 57.7%. So it means that compared to the delta delta connected network, the VV connection uh, which is the open delta will provide a power of 57.7% as compared to uh, if the third transformer is there and the system is operating in delta delta fashion. However, uh, the disadvantage is that that it will operate a derated operation that is 57.7% and 86.6% of the capacity of the remaining two transformer will be supplied. So average power factor of the V bank is less than the load power factor. So when you were operating the system in delta delta fashion then the more power factor was there and average power factor of the V bank is 86.6% of the balance load power factor because the two transformer will operate at different power factor now one will be at cost 30 minus 5 another will be at cost 30 plus 5. So the since the third transformer is not there so the two transformer uh, will operate a different uh, power factor one with uh, cost 30 minus 5 and another is cost 30 plus 5. So accordingly increasing load even it is perfectly balanced cause terminal secondary voltage to be unbalanced. So there will be like what the secondary terminal voltage will not be in the balanced condition it will be under the unbalanced condition. However the continuous flow of the power is there. So we have discussed all this uh, connecting uh, network for the three phase transformer and among the network the selection uh, depends upon the application for which we required it and we have discussed these four different connections and one special type of connection that is BB connection. Thank you for now. See you in the next lecture.